So this question says, Paula Summers, a massage therapist, needs five ounces of a 22% lavender oil solution. She has only 4% and 40% lavender oil solutions available. How many ounces of each should Paula mix to obtain the desired solution? So for word problems, I always recommend going through the five-step problem-solving plan. So step one says, what are my unknowns? So the unknown is how much Paula should obtain from each solution and then mix to get her 22% final solution. So let's go ahead and write that down. I'm going to go ahead and pick green for this. So part one. Uh, so your unknowns are also the items that the problem is asking you to solve for. This would be ounces of each solution required. Step two, write a let statement. So let x be this unknown quantity. So this is my ounces required. And uh, x is actually going to be the same for both of these because it says how many ounces of each. So number three, let's go ahead and think about our equation. So let's say the amount of lavender oil should be the same before and after the mix. It's just a matter of how diluted it is. So if we have 4% of x, and we also have 40% times x, this will represent the amount of lavender oil in the 4% solution. And then the 40% times x, that's the amount of lavender oil in the 40% solution. And now we just need to figure out, well, how much lavender oil should there be total? That should be 22% of the 5 ounces at the end. So that's my 22%, right? Multiply by 5, which let's go ahead and write this as lavender oil total. So if we work this out, that's 0 0.22 times 5, which should be 1.10 ounces. So our equation is going to be the 0.04x from the first 4% solution, plus however much is contributed by the 40% solution, so that's my 0.40x, that should be 1.1. So if we add these, 0.44x, we're combining our like terms here, equals 1.1. To solve for x, I want to isolate it, so I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by that 0.44, so then I can cancel out. Ah. So I just have x, which is equal to 1.1 divided by 0.44, which is 2.5 here. So we should have 2.5. So this is all of this. This was my step four solving. And step five, let's check if that makes sense. So if I say I'm going to have two and a half ounces of the 4%, and two and a half ounces of the 40%. That should give me five ounces total. Does that make sense? Yes. And if we plug this back into our original equation, 0.04 times that 2.5 plus 0.40 times 2.5 again, does that equal 1.1? And if you put this into a calculator, yes, it does equal 1.1. So our answer should be 2.5 ounces.